Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications and Ministries in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Reverend Christopher Irvin, CEO, founder, and president of this organization. And today, I have a powerful word for you. I'm going to be brief, but this is a word from the word of God that says what our mission as children of God in the world today is all about. We're going through some serious things. Continue to wear your mask. Continue to stay focused. Continue social distancing. Continue to wash your hands and use sanitizer. This thing is serious. We're going to lose a lot of people. It's unfortunate. This is not a God-sent pandemic. This is a satanic force through man sent pandemic that God has allowed so that the people of God all around the world, all around the world can wake up and see and understand and act because when we act, we become God in action. We're going to look in the book of Matthew today and a few other books. But right now, I, I want you to pray with me. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, this evening, your people who are called by your name around the world, we come, Father, to break bread. Father, I ask that you fall fresh upon the ears of the hearers and doers of your word. Father, I ask that you fall fresh upon me. Mold me, Father, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my Savior and my Redeemer. Lord, I ask that every word that I utter from my mouth only glorifies and only magnifies your name. For you, Lord, and you alone are worthy to be praised. I said I was going to be brief. We're going to jump right in this thing today. I want you to share with me the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew. If you have your Bibles, go to the 16th chapter of Matthew. 16th chapter. And I'm going to go to the 24th verse and I'm going to do a few scriptures this morning and then I'm going to jump right in the word then said Jesus unto his disciples if any man will take up after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? I want to read that again. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man and woman according to his works. Now, I'm going to stay in the book of Matthew and uh, 
Matthew, the sixth chapter. The 24th verse, Matthew 6, chapter 24th verse, and God's word so read. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Powerful words. Jesus, throughout this book and throughout his ministry, is calling the people of God to battle. This book right here that I'm reading from, this Holy Bible, this is a book about war. This is a book about victory. This is a book about love. This is a book about hate. This is a book about holy warfare that the men and women, the children of God all throughout the world continue to battle with day to day. There is good and there is evil. So much good in the world. But my brothers and sisters, there is so much evil too. The fallen angel is real. And if you're a child of God, I urge you to heed this message this morning. Onward, Christian soldier. That's a powerful song. But it is a call for us to continue to matriculate in this world as children of God. Continue to lean not toward your own understanding, nor the understanding of the world, but to the understanding of his holy word. The stronger you get in his word, the stronger you get as a child, as a soldier of God, the greater the enemy will attack you. But oh, my brothers and sisters, as soldiers on the battlefield fighting for the Lord, he gives us everything we need for the battle. And the battle is real. Look at what's going on in America. Look at what's going on in the world. So much hate. So much division. So much separation at a time when we have a pandemic, millions affected around the world, hundreds and thousands of people dying around the world. We also have so much hate, so much separation, so much evil at a time of a pandemic, where is the leadership in America? Where is the leadership in the world? Where are the children of God? They're awakening. 
There are awakening. We have some sleep, brothers and sisters. We have some sick, brothers and sisters. And Jesus breaks it down for us. You see, no man, no woman can serve to God. Either you serve the good or you serve the bad. Either you serve God or you serve the world. Either you will rise up to be with God. When you leave this old world, when you shed these old clothes, or you will remain in the world. The lake of fire is real. Will a man gain the world to lose his soul? Spiritual warfare is real. But I say to you, my brothers and sisters, who are children of the one God who can do anything but fail. Onward, Christian soldier. Let us continue to stand. Let us continue to fight. We had some great soldiers throughout this word of God. As I look through this word of God, so many stood before the satanic forces of the world and defeated them. How? The word of God gives us the recipe that we need as soldiers on the battlefield fighting for the Lord. He gives us Everything we need in this word, we must continue, my brothers and sisters, to lean toward the word. Joshua, leading the Israelites, prayed to God as he took over the leadership after the death of Moses. And God gave him the recipe needed to defeat the satanic forces in the world. David had those same recipes. And I submit to you, my brothers and sisters, in modern times, in modern times, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King, had those same attributes. Recently, we lost Dr. Joseph Lowry. Recently, we lost C.T. Vivian. Recently, we lost John Lewis. But the saints keep marching in. The saints keep marching on. The saints keep standing all over the world. You and I, my brothers and sisters, must continue to align ourselves with God and with his word. And remember the days are coming, saith the Lord, when I will write my laws upon the hearts of men and women. They shall know me from the least of them to the greatest for I will have written my laws upon their hearts. Those days are now. Either you're on the right. Or you're on the left. Either you're on the side of good. Or you're on the side of bad. Either you are racist. Or you're a child of God. Either you're a hater. Or a lover. Either you're a fighter. Or a coward. Being a soldier is not easy. 
Being a soldier is not easy. When I served in the United States Army, and I served in combat training, following training as an infantry soldier, we had simulated warfare. And in simulated warfare, we would enact real war. And the reason we enacted real war was so that when we were on the battlefield fighting for the United States of America, if that day came, we would be ready and we would know what to do and we would know how to react. Following boot camp, we had that day. Many of us ran into the field and as we ran, we heard real bombs. We heard real machine guns. We heard real sounds of war and many fell down and wondered what the heck is going on. I submit to you, my brothers and sisters, those brothers and sisters of ours who fought in Iraq, in Vietnam, and some of the other waters between the North and the South, many died and many fought. But on that field, soldiers had to have some attributes. And thus it is with the Lord. We must have some attributes. Christ said for us to take up our cross after him. If we are to do that, my brothers and sisters, he didn't mean take up a cross after him. He meant take up his ways. You must walk with in his footsteps. The steps that he walked in were love. The steps that he walked in were sacrifice. The steps that he walked in were dedication. The steps that he walked in were strength. In the book of Joshua, he gave us another strength that Christ had to have and all of those names that I called and many more who still stand today and still fight for freedom in America and freedom in the world and, and love. It's courage. In that first chapter of Joshua, God mentions courage three times. And as I retract back to that, a lot of those men and women that fought with me and trained with me didn't have the courage some fell down and cried. Warfare is real. Many give up. But I come to you today, my brothers and sisters, to tell you to continue on. Continue studying his word because in his word, we find strength. In his word, we find courage. In his word, we find love. In his word, we find dedication. And when you have those attributes, you become a greater asset to God. You become a greater asset to the world. You become a greater asset you become God in action because God is in action in and through you. Let us continue in the fight. And don't forget the armor. Paul mentions the armor. Put on the whole armor of God. You can't fight a war without it. You can't fight the satanic forces without the armor of God. 
One of the greatest armors of God is the shield of faith and the sword, which is his word. The helmet of salvation, the belt of righteousness. You've got to have the armor of God as we continue in this battle, as, as we continue in this fight. Onward, Christian soldiers. Let us pray that we continue to move forward. We have an opportunity in November to bring leadership in America that will bring us closer together. All of the hate and all of the racism and all of the bigotry and all of the evil forces in high places that we wrestle with as soldiers. We will defeat them in an army as David, in an army before the world so that the world will know that we don't conquer with sword. We conquer with the Lord for the battle is not ours. It's the Lord's and he will help us to defeat the enemies of the world. But be courageous, be of love, be of dedication, be of good strength, and God will continue to take you places you never thought you could go. Onward, Christian soldiers, let us pray. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, this evening, around the world, Father, we come to lift you. For you and you alone are worthy to be lifted. You and you alone are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Father God, we ask that you come into our lives. You continue to heal. You continue to deliver your people who are called by your name. So many are suffering today around the world, Lord. So many are suffering from pain and some diseases. This pandemic, this coronavirus, Father, we ask that you touch them right now and heal in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. So many are suffering today from cancer. We ask that you touch, that you heal, that you deliver them right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. So many have addictions and afflictions. We ask that you heal and that you deliver them right now in the powerful name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. You have more power in the hem of your garment than any doctor, any lawyer, any politician. We ask that you heal right now in his name and for his sake. And together, Father, we claim in the victory as soldiers on the battlefield, we're claiming the victory with an amen. Amen and amen. I pray that you prayed that prayer with me. There's power in prayer. Prayers of the righteous availeth much. Let us continue to pray for one another. But when we get up off our knees praying, let us continue to act. Onward, Christian soldiers. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got brothers and sisters all over the world that are working with us, that are praying with us. Do you know where two or more gathered? The Lord is too. So every time you pray, there are millions of people praying around the world. And as we pray, my brothers and sisters, we become God in action because God acts when we pray. Let us continue to pray. We ask that you support this ministry. How? One, pass this tape along so that someone can be encouraged. Someone can be touched. We ask that you support this ministry. Number two, go to Amazon.com. Purchase my books and my CDs on Amazon.com. Christopher Urban, they will bless your soul. And they will help us to keep God in action, in action, in and around the world. And finally, if you send us a love offering, I'll be sure to send you my CD, Victory in Sight. Powerful poetry with powerful 
music and lyrics that will lift your soul. Isn't there time for more love in the world? So to you today, I say, onward, Christian soldiers. Let us continue on the battlefield fighting for the Lord. Until next time, we love you. But more importantly, God loves you. And knowing that, keep the victory in sight.